Things are going from bad to worse for Nicola Sturgeon as she loses control of her Westminster party as well as the upcoming general election. Hello beautiful people, welcome to the UK's most watched political show on the internet. We will be your voice, we will be your advocate and we will stand up to the establishment. From the left-wing nutters, especially in Scotland, to the globalist elite. Now Nicola Sturgeon has had a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last few weeks and now, this week, when we've had the... The, the recent election, leadership election in Westminster, Ian Blackford is gone and of course he's been replaced and people in Scotland are finally seeing the true side of the SNP minions because Nicola Sturgeon is no longer that leader that she pretended to be. She's losing control of her own party as well as the Scottish electorate. Now, first things first, let's talk about what's going on exactly when it comes to the next election um, because of course Nicola Sturgeon claims that she was definitely going to get another majority in Scotland but the way things are looking hmm well the SNP are down by 11 points and they continue to go down and the Labour Party are coming up the Scottish Labour Party have been pretty impressive over the last uh, few months over the last year or so actually very slowly on the radar but they are doing well but put aside the Labour Party of course, the Tories are going down as well. The biggest surprise is that Reform UK are coming up in Scotland. They are now currently on 11%. They moved up 10 points from it, from 1%. They're completely destroying all the other small parties. The Liberal Democrats, who used to be you know, doing okay in Scotland, they are currently on 1%. Now, what does this mean when it comes to potential seats in the next election? Well, that means that the Labour Party will get... A majority, 29 seats, and the SNP will get 23 seats. Now, of course, because of the first part, suppose the way it's going, they can't really uh, predict what's going to happen with Reform UK. They're simply comparing uh, the four main parties at the time compared to the 2019 election. Uh, so if you consider the Lib Dems as a party, then they will get zero seats. Now, this is going to change everything, considering... That Nicola Sturgeon, according to Tom Harris in the Telegraph, is definitely losing control of her own MPs. Now, all this started when, well, a while ago, they've lost so much money. They Some of the money is missing, whether it's the Ferguson shipyard, uh, the, the whole uh, the, the ferry fiasco, whether it's the, the, the lockdown loans, uh, well, the grants from the government that just disappeared, whether it was the donations for the independence campaign, that again disappeared. All that has resulted in a lot of chaotic situations, including internal battles. Now, Ian Blackford has now resigned as a Westminster leader, and of course, Flynn is now the new uh, leader of the SNP in Westminster. Do you think this is bad? Murray Black is now going to be the next deputy leader of the SNP in Westminster. What is happening? <laughs> Murray Black. <laughs> of all people. Seriously. So the, the, Nicola Sturgeon tried her best to make sure the grown-ups are running her party. But in reality, that's not happening. Now, there is a bit of a um, chance for the SNP to come back. And that is Keir Starmer and the potential coalition deal that he's willing to make with the SNP, which we are going to be talking about later on today right here on this channel we're going to come to you guys every half an hour so the best thing you can do subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell next to it i'm maya 2c and we are the media